welcome to the PartyPoker.net European Open 5. 72 poker wannabes and already ours have ponied up their cash to create a half million dollar prize pool. And tonight, the main event begins. Six players will enter this ring with one seat in the semifinals and one last chance in the turbos up for grabs. This is where the war of words meets the man of steel. Bombus Zonthus, he's been around gambling for eons, played in the very first televised poker show, and of late has been getting all the money in the big cash games in London. I've been playing poker since 1961, so, so I'm an old warrior. <laughs> poker is very good for the mind. It keeps you alive. It keeps you thinking, it keeps your mind always alert. It's a very social game, Poga. It should be a so social game, and it should be fun to play with, and it's good for the mind as well. It keeps you young. John Kabaj, I used to call him the best young British player. Now they just call him Scary. 35 years old now from Birmingham, and is deadly behind the eyes. Primarily an online cash game specialist, but now starting to make his name known around the tournament circus. Nick Perso made the final table of this event a couple years ago and hopes to go one better this year round. In the European Open 3, I actually made the final. I went in as a big chip leader and managed to go out second, so I finished fifth in the end, which was a bit disappointing. But having played it before gives me some experience and confidence. I think people perceive me as a poker player like one of these kind of new, younger players, even though I'm 35, and they probably generalize that my style is going to be very aggressive and and fearless but to be quite honest i use that when the time's right but you know generally play quite solid poker he's already won a table in this tournament norman pace came through the celebrity heat and if practice makes perfect his game's on pace for a win i should imagine the pros will think of me as a loose cannon at the table today they're going to look at me and not know they expect amateurs to either be very tight or to be calling stations and keep calling, keep calling if they got any part of the flop. So I'm going to try and use that to my advantage. I'm going to set out to give myself a table image and then I'm going to change gears. That's my plan. Televised poker stalwart Bob Cooper has been playing poker about six years and most of his poker has been done right here on TV. World Series of Poker bracelet holder at the table, Thomas Buzzerbeel, the German with the steady game and the exciting name. He is a sit-and-go specialist and is a big danger in this field. My opponents perceive me as a tight, aggressive player who really adjusts to the blind structure, so I might try to pull a different trick today. I think I got a pretty tough heat that will be great for television. The main opponents are John Kabash and the Bambos and the Nick. All three of them I rate really highly. This heat is smoking, and the term big bluffer is thrown around liberally, but believe me, they don't come any bigger than Paul Zimbler, uh, World Open finalist. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. Chips on the table. The yellow chip's worth a thousand. Blues are two. Reds on the top there, 5k apiece. 100,000 in front of every seat. 600k in the play. And, I mean, who's your eye going to be on early as far as making the pace, Paul? I think Bambus is, is going to start fast. He wants chips. Um, interesting to see how Nick's going to play, really. Yeah, Nick is the uh, big proponent of the tight early uh, school, but uh, with the Queens, uh, not much you can do but raise, right? Not a bad start. Call it 6,000. You need three more. You want this guy? Okay, give him oh, numbers. Sorry, sorry. I, 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 <laughs> I'll put three. You want to put six? Okay. No, no, I mean, I'm, I'm miss. Cool. Oh, I mean, as well, then, yeah. I guess. Cool. And look at this. Three ways, the very no, first hand. You, no. you mustn't. Possibilities yeah. are endless. And uh, between Bombus and John Kabaj, you've got two guys there who, I mean, they are good, good poker players. Yeah, they can read very well. Oh, look at this, Bob. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's over now. Check. Check. There's no action. Check. Inside straight draw from Nick. I mean, would you be checking here or do you have to just bet and see what happens? I think you must bet a little bit to get some information of what your opponent may have. He always bets the first hand. It's going to look like he's betting the first hand. Okay. You got me. Yeah, you got me. Pass. You got me. Pass. Bambus will lay it down. Kabaj will as well. 
<laughs> Might show just to show I'm how solid show he's playing. One, yeah. <laughs> am I alright? Am I alright? Did you lay the floor? Fuck it, then come Queen 4. You think did he shows you if it's Ace King? Oh, you have no. a Queen job? No, I'll we'll get all the confidence on it. I think he needs it. Queen Fool, yes. Yeah. You get the feeling that Buzzer Beal's done his homework uh, here. Um, you know, he may have watched a couple of Rob's heats and said, hey, if this guy limps, I'm raising for a lot of hands. Well, now we're seeing. Raise 7,000 total. 7,000 with two nines. Wow. And now it's going to look like another raise. We could see the money go in. I mean, really, because of the fact that, that Beal re -ra uh, raised Cooper the last hand, you know, Rob could get stubborn here. Would you blame him if he does? I would blame him in, in this particular we round. If we see a flop that's low, then there's nothing you can do, but pass. Uh, pass. I think it's going to be like a jack seven deuce flop and it all goes in. Re raise to 19. So if you're no, Rob okay. Cooper here, you're that's calling, okay. you're re raising. Call. Just a call. I would just call. I don't see any value in re raising. Mm. You don't know the guy's game unless you've studied him. Flop word bound. King nine would be a lovely flop. I'm sick. There we are. The Jack Six Five. It. I think it all goes in. It's a bet out. A raise. Very tricky decision here for Rob Cooper. I mean, he was. You think bet out and find out where he's at is a good is a is the move. Unless he's trying to do the check raise move. And wow, this is wow. He managed not to go broke there. I don't know what his game plan is, but uh, what flop are you waiting for if you've got two nines? This is going to curse him the whole night. He's going to wonder, was I ahead? <laughs> and it will play on his It'll brain and him. it will affect his game. Thomas, of course, has a couple of poker records. He's got this World Series of Poker bracelet. Also, uh, longest sideburns in the poker world. <laughs> Folded the ducks up front there. Yeah, it's, I, I think that's okay in the first couple of levels. You, you know, you can only going to really Raise walk into a, a bigger pair or two over cards, and you don't need to play a hand. Pass. And this is the second time that Kabaj has raised from the butt. Uh, he's got a real hand this nice. time, but this is just what I was thinking. Norman's thinking to himself, isn't he? I got to draw the line in the sand. He can't rob me all the time. You got to let them rob you. It's it's part of the game, especially oh in these man. levels. Do you, you need to to do anything? too drastic you know he's going to think for 10 seconds make out he's got a big ace throw it in the bin it's pretty normal um, what he should be doing is raising his own button which he folded last time and it would have gone through I mean there was sort of a right idea there from Norman because last time he would have been right but his, his timing's all wrong isn't it it's all about timing <laughs> that's the greatest thing in the game Kabaj one level ahead there Kabaj has king jack there he folds well, Thomas Beal all of a sudden up top, and uh, poor Norman Pace really has just played the one hand, and uh, his move was ill-timed. He's unlucky. Listen, you still, you've still got at least 27,000 chips to play with before you need even start to worry. When you get down to 50, you can double up no problem. A butcher, a baker, and a cooper. Plenty more poker to play here. We'll see you after the break. Welcome back, the Marbella Kid and I checking in on the action. Cool. Oh look, he's playing a hand. He's limped in here with the aces limp. under the gun. I, I'm not sure I like the limp. Not many players are raising pre-flop in, in this heat, so you could end up with a four-way pot here. Cooper's having a very suspicious look here. Cool. And Press. that is trouble for Nick Purcell. And cool, cool. Cool. I mean, this is what right, you hate with cool. aces, isn't right. it? Four yeah. ways, okay. two blinds. Yeah. Well, how do we unlock? You want to limp because you want the raiser. Mm. It's 19. But when no one's raising a lot, and, and Nick hasn't played a hand except queens or ace king. And it's this kind of flop. I mean, this, how is, this is a dangerous flop. How okay. scared is Perso right now? What do you have now? You have top pair, you have a flush draw, okay. you have the over pair, okay. and uh, you have the, the gut shot for the bottom end, which Six would be out of the way. I mean, this is going to be tricky for him, isn't it? Bambus could raise here to get to, to find out where he is. 
putting him maybe on jacks. He, he can have a lot of hands to limp, you know, tens and above. Could Bambus fold as well? I mean... I don't know. Well, the kick is not good. I don't think it's... Well... Pass. Very good pass. I mean, Kabaji isn't folding, but between a call and a check raise, what do you like? I mean... I think you want to call. You know you're behind. There's no point sticking a raise. And you, Nick's played two hands. He knows that Nick's a good player. And it would have been interesting if Bambus calls because then oh. John can raise. But now there's no value in raising. Club a disaster yeah. for Nick. I think Nick knows where he is in the hand as well. Check. Check. It's like if you're Nick, you want to bet, but all the same time... Aren't you don't want to face the race. Yeah. I mean, there's a maid straight out there. I think he has to bet. He knows he's ahead. He must protect his hand. He, he must get... He, he must bet and then reevaluate if he gets raised? Correct. And and if he's bet and just called, he'll know, He'll know. I'm sure, 100% his, 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 his Eight, fellow five, players on a flush draw. If he calls and the three of spades okay. comes, it's it's unlucky. Cool. Cool. It was a pretty little bet. 8,000 into 20,000. All the information he needs. He knows if he was beat, he'd have been raised. Three, four, club. Oh. And that could yeah, be a bluffing yeah. card. Yeah, I think it'll slow everyone down. It may go check, check, check. Check. It, you don't need to kind of risk money here on the button. You, you know, you've limped, so you're not going to play a big pot, and you, you've got the pot one. I mean, is Nick bets? Is there any hand that beats him that he could get to fold? Is that one of yours? Yeah, not really. Small. So many players make this yeah. mistake, and they bet here for value and get raised and. Now, then they, they dwell up for five minutes, but, you know, I think he's going to check. And it, it, I think it's a right check. Like you say, you can only hope maybe Queen Jack calls. Who's it up to? Me, 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 I think. You yeah. check, check. Did I check? Sorry. Yeah. If, he, if he bets here, do you I think it's... Bet. Is it a bluff well, bet or a value bet? Well, is I want to show this down check. Is okay. it? Okay. You <laughs> <laughs> One pair. <laughs> yeah. One pair. One pair. pair. Bring on the trumpet. <laughs> 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 One pair, man. One pair. He mugged. I think he got <laughs> the most of them. He got the most of them. He had a pair. He flirted with danger, didn't he, Paul? Yeah. You had to. You always want to make that little bet on the river. You must have had like eight, eight, eight or seven or eight, nine. I had a queen. You had a good... F wow, really? He's actually had some big tournament results, Bombus. Uh, Mostly, most of them within England, uh, I think, on the down at the Vic and that sort of thing. The Vic's obviously his home ground. He came third in Copenhagen in the EPT three years ago. Wow. Yeah. Very good result. He thought about it. Yes. Always go with your first instinct. It, but it, you look over there, Cooper's a little short stacked in the big blind. I mean, Rob's just sending out that signal to the table that he wants to play flops to get back in this, doesn't he? His patience is gone. They can change, change the menu. Yeah. They can change the shape. Gone. Look at it's gone. Uh, the it's thing John thing. John knows is but that Nick's playing tight, so he can get to Nick. Norman's, Norman's not going to waste the chips. It's, it's only really the big blind he has to play a hand against. This is a hand for massive flop for Cooper. I'm guessing it might be less. They're getting paid. Are they chefs or cooks? No, they're not even chefs yet. The last chef they had there. He six of diamonds. I was just about to call the six of diamonds would be the best and card the for action. Of, oh, <laughs> this is a, it's a, it's a unfortunate. <laughs> it's, it's game so over for pace. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, Cooper stay. has a straight flush right <laughs> now. So he's going to have to look three times, Check rub his eyes. I don't think he's going to fall asleep oh, here. Nice. I think he needs to turn the switch, the switch off where they lit up like a Christmas tree. This is interesting to watch how he plays with the nuts. What's a good chef now? You know, his thinking is a bit of Hollywood. You know, too much Hollywood is no good. You want to hope your opponent is Hand. I would make a small raise here just to hope my well, opponent's got a hand and find out. Even me, I play roulette those days. <laughs> and another diamond. You know, like young, uh, young boy, young, I mean, uh, what is his name? Young. Uh, Norman obviously thinks he's ahead. I, sure. Uh, how knows. big can this pot uh, get? One of, one of uh, Neil's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, you're, if you're Norman, you, 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 you want to bet because you've got a straight, yeah, but there's a flush on. there, it's yeah, paired the board, he's called you on the turn, you should probably just check call because he's he Robert can only probably bet 15,000 because he wants to be called, he has such a strong hand. Now he's bet out 10,000, he can raise it 30,000 more and expect to be called. Cooper, he doesn't know what Norman has. He knows he's got something, but he needs to give himself a chance to get greedy, doesn't he? I mean, should he stick in like 
like 50k here or There's something. two, Rory and Ramsey. I, I'm all in. Wow. He's all in. He's That's making it look like a like a, a bluff or three nines, but hmm. what are you going to get paid by here? You know, if the guy had a full house nines up, his money would have been in, in already. That's 38,000. I mean, at this stage now... I think he's going to call. He can, he can beat a bluff. Tony. He can, he can beat a... He can beat yeah, ace nine. Nine helped him then, Rob. Up in nine. No, I didn't, actually. Uh. Mm. So he may think the player... Well, it's yeah, so easy to say one here. One. You know, when you're sitting there at the table yeah. and you've seen how the hands are played and how the guy's playing, you, you need to take that all into the equation. Count it, please. Norman kind of created his own problem here. If he'd have checked the river, Rob would have probably bet 15, 20,000. He can just call it off and he's lost 20,000. Now he's looking at losing kind of nearly 50,000 chips, which is 50% of your starting stack on a hand where it's three diamonds and it's paired the board on the river. One thing I've okay. noticed about Norman's game is the celebrity heat recently, he just seems, he's been making the tricky decisions well, he's been thinking the hands through. If he thinks this through... He can fold it in, he can fold. I know you can fold. It's very hard, and he wants to call. You have to fold. If he thinks there's a chance that they've got the same hand... Yeah, Cooper's have a call if I'm right, Robert. And then there's no value, there's again no major value in calling if they're right. That's why he should have checked checked on the river um, you know it was a big flop there could have been a lot of money going on the flop I think that in wonder just if in Norman's mind he thinks that you know Rob's a little bit tilty that's what he's thinking he's bluffing me I've bet out a lot I've been called how many chips will that leave him with if he calls not enough <sighs> go on throw it away it's a tough decision it's tough it looks to tough I don't think it's that tough Good pass. Wow, it is good a good pass. pass. And the good straight job. flush. He doesn't get to oh, show yeah. it. Look, he, he's oh. so upset, Robert. Oh, he, <laughs> he wanted to show that so much. bad. He's thinking, oh, uh, I got greedy. I you showed it. Now it, it's good for the game. Hmm? I think he's going to tell him I had a straight flush and they won't believe him. Big bowl of chocolate yeah. pudding. He tried to <laughs> what eat the whole thing. What did you have? See it on the just bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ask me. I'll tell you. Full for your leg. That's a good pass. That was a good pass. He got information for his 10,000 bet. It is. It's unfortunate, though. I mean, Pace has had to make a couple good passes here. and he, At this stage, he doesn't know. Doesn't that haunt you? He doesn't know, but the turn was dangerous, the river was dangerous, and he managed to avoid trouble. Cool. Maybe Robert's getting a bit of confidence back knowing, you know, I've just hit a hand, I can, I can maybe do something in this. He certainly's cool. back in it anyway. No Folded around to Beal on the small blind, and he... Oh, excuse me. Rob's, oh, Rob's limped in here, has he? I like the King Jack. Something for everyone. Yeah. That's 8,000. I think Cooper could do a few chips here. Plus. If, if he calls cool. here, though, I mean, isn't uh, Beal going to be wary enough about... Uh, being beat that he might just slow this down or you think he's going to bet the turn it, it, mm, that, that looks like a card could have slowed him down yeah. but you've got to know your opponent has a 10 they 90 percent of the time they're going to be raising you to find out where they are because there's a flush draw and straight draw there i would bet again even if it's 12,000, 12 into 28 just to find out but sixteen thousand. if he's flushing you can't give him a free card oh. Yeah. It is the hallmark of Beale. It, it, the more dangerous it looks, the more unsure you are, the, the, that's even more important to put your opponent to a decision. 100%. Well, when Thomas Beale gets in a pot with Robert Cooper, you just feel like Beale's going to win. Joined by the European Open resident analyst Neil Channing for a little more on that hand. Neil, what do you think about Beale? Well, I've played with this Thomas Beale a few times, Jesse, and uh, I can see Bob Cooper's problem in this hand. Uh, 
It terrifies me, this Thomas Beale. He sits there, he's a big fella, he's, uh, he's all dressed in black, he uh, doesn't say a great deal at the table, he's got these wraparound sunglasses. He's a very imposing character. If I'm sort of on the button, I get a hand like Queen Nine, I'm thinking, shall I steal the blinds? I suddenly look up on Thomas Beale's there, I think I'm gonna just maybe limp in a few times. And I mean, the whole thing about Beale is you're at the table, you're kind of looking at your cards and chips, you look up and Beale is just staring down your pipe. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, Beale is an excellent player. He's looked at this flop. Uh, it's, uh, he's got second pair, he's got the top kicker, he knows he's probably winning. He's made a bet. And uh, yeah, Bob Cooper's got a good hand. Uh, he's not quite sure where he is, he just flat calls. I don't know. No one's really made a mistake on the flop as far as I can see. But tough to fire that second bullet sometimes when the draws get there. But if you're Beal, you just bet it through. Germans, Englishmen, and flying donkeys after the break. This again? table hey, has got just famous been doing faces. Oil. Famous faces, uh, if you know a, poker. One hundred sixty-two thousand. You know, it's not a huge 60s. stack, but, oh, but, but that's the average stack at hundred. You know, he's uh, he's basically Back on the he can play he can play for stacks with almost everyone at the table. Mm -hmm. Heart's bleeding for him. More importantly, he can he can, nice. he can with a, a, a marginal hand oh, you take on his two short stacks and still be above average. Well, no, double He's in a great position to make that decision on their left. Well, really? Well, yeah. Yeah. The money goes in before him. Heard five years, yeah. That's what, I'm gonna... what about the two Ronnies? Were they friends or? Not really. Kabash, that surprises Almost me. Almost exactly. They, were like, they, were like they were friends, didn't they? I think they were two different characters, actually. They were like one of the great comic actors. That, that ace queen for the button is so big that he's going all in. Yeah. I'm all in. And 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 Nick cannot fall. He's not passing. Yeah, cool. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know and why. Then it again, have I? <laughs> massive. Yeah. But it's interesting. Nick oh. was talking Ooh. while he raised. Oh, who knows? <clears throat> again, to put his opponent off, Good. stop them thinking. Yeah. Ace jack is a hand where you could flack. In some situations, you think you're short stack. Let's get it in. But if he's got a pair, mm. and you can just see a flop and bet out. But it's a standard. It is. I Diamond's mean, and, and nice Norman was low enough. I mean, it looked huge, that ace jack, didn't oh. it? Told you it felt bad, and there it is. <laughs> Looks huge right hearts. now. I had a feeling well, that was coming. I don't, I don't want having more hearts. Probably come running, <laughs> running hearts. Jack of hearts. Ten of hearts, king of hearts. Let's make it fun. Oh, how about the ace of hearts? Bloody hell. Now, the outs are any jack heart or the no. queen. <laughs> no jack of hearts. That's the only one. All right. See, the stand-up game. No. <laughs> reverse it's psychology. polite, isn't it? Jack of hearts is no good now. Queen. Oh. 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 <laughs> Thank you, fellas. No yeah. unlucky. I think he played well. I think much. he played very well. He, he, he was unlucky you, in, a, in a couple of hands. He made a great pass. Yeah, his game has been on display during this European Open 5, and the game is good. Last hand for Norman Pace. Big ace on the button, big ace short stacked in a small blind, Paul. You know, there's not much you can do. It, it, it's one of those situations, six-handed, you're short stack, the money's going to go in. It was a great flop for Norman, and then the turn just changed changed everything, but Nick picked up so many outs. I don't know if I harboured any great thoughts about winning the heat, but I wanted to equip myself well and play well against very good players, you know. So in that sense, going out first is a little bit disappointing. On the other hand, I think uh, I think I played my position well. I think I... I made a couple of good moves. I just kept running into things. Who was the guy that, that he looks with that haircut in the sideburns? Was, side was, was it the, the lead singer experience. of the Violent Femmes? Is that? Was uh, it that uh, I've never seen them. So. <laughs> Why can't I get? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. All in. See, why do you have to wait for King Jack? Okay, let's find King 3 one time. Yes, King 3. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, sir. Mm, He's kind of saying, no, no, trying to tell Rod that, that he doesn't... <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> And you, you are way behind. The, the minute mom, I say how much is it, you are behind. Isn't there such a big <laughs> chance that you, you've got an over-under? Exactly. You're going to think you're at least 79 to go to. 30, 40, 50. I call. I think it's going to come up. Yeah, yeah. 
good taste. Two two ten. Ten. It's, oh, it's, it's pretty much the best situation yeah. for Rob Cooper, it and it's 50 50. What does that leave Bamba's with? Bamba's still left with 80,000 if he loses. That's how I lost in Monte Carlo. I think a 10's a good here. Straight race, you'd rather have the pair, of course. We did see a King King Jack of Suda. I can see the 10's winning him. 20,000. You call him King Jack? Yeah. Rob's all in. Oh, it's the, <laughs> it's the Queens again. Yeah. Well, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's he's trouble for Cooper, Four as he says. Queen for the straight. You need that queen. Yeah, it's game yeah. For the straight, you've got King Jack, man. You know, he'd done nothing wrong. He probably should have moved in a few hands earlier. It would have been more expensive for Bamba. I have to call that way. He liked it once you had two turns. But we saw it like Bamba now, though, will join the big three. Nick and Thomas Beal on top of the leaderboard with him. And the Monte Carlo Grand Prix. learned it. You just seen you that this was about six <laughs> months ago. I was just learning, so I thought I'd play 36. They've been playing four handed and for a while it's quite a soft now. Game. And there hasn't been, soft, been yeah. much the, progress the or movement. Although yeah. Persoa seems to be one, two, two, suffering right now. Um, uh, like I thought before, he wants to wait till he gets maybe three handed. have a lot of regulars there. Yeah. He knows he's not the first one that needs to get busy. I kind so. of made a few notes after playing it a few days. Kabaj must move with these. Well, cool. calling wow. is the worst option. Like, who is who? You're giving an a, a completely free flop. I mean, if it, it might not happen, but it might come queen five Place deuce. You're allowing him to raise like he's just done. You know, queen eight. You're winning the pot. You, you, you're giving. He's given up. His cards are in the muck. I can't believe he's going to peel off a flop. But over half is. Well, he's he's created something tricky here now. Wow. Is he perhaps playing a stop and go at this stage? I, I think it's the only thing it can be. 58. So if he misses, he's comes, moving maybe. in. Yeah. Well, this is this is wonderful news. He has to check. He knows the guy has to represent. Has he found a way to double up here? This would be fantastic poker. I mean, at this stage, Nick is hating life, but he has to follow this up with a bet, doesn't he? Nick, Nick, being clever, knows if he's going to win, he can bet it on the river rather than let him pay for a draw or a miss. Huge turn card. Two pair no. now for sure. Why? Why? If Nick had a flush draw, he'd have bet the flop. That's a bad flop for my pair. I mean, it was a yeah, really but, interesting um, way for Kabaj to play the hand. He's found a way to win 20,000, but do you think it was too big? I he he risked losing that pot? Yeah. He's risking that nearly half big. his stack. You know, well. If you want to grind. I think you either have to push in the small blind or push once it's been raised. Yeah, it's right. creative though, isn't it? Kind of Very, but it can no, get sure. you in a lot of trouble. You have a, a certain period of your life where it's a great way to build a bankroll and you really want to play online and you don't care. And then you hit a certain point in your life where you think, okay, I have some money now and you do something different. I see Nick's trying to use the talking tactics against Thomas and free card there. it's not really working. Play on my behalf, I mean. really? Thomas doesn't that say too much. Free card, yeah. To hit two outs, Plus. you're going to be unlucky if I do you that way. Cool. Then I improved the force. I mean, from well. what we've seen of Beal, I mean, he's raising <laughs> almost all the time here. Yeah. What's he got here? This is, this is a nice hand. You don't need to raise. You can catch a flop and get well paid. I swear about the devil fish theory about from that spot, you want to raise your really good hands and your really bad hands. Yep. And these that like to see flops, you're willing to check. 15,000. He knows he's ahead. And you know, when we did that late night poker, it, 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 Thomas Krebs did it for free. Beal's taking the chip Start lead. Yeah. yeah. My biggest win certainly was the bracelet in the WSOP Europe in the horse event in 2007. That was a, a fantastic result and a mainly a big relief as it has been uh, my first uh, big live tournament win. This uh, format s uh, should suit me down to the ground as I play a lot of online sitting goes, but I haven't done too well and I hope to improve my track record today. It, it really, it's not a completely winner-take-all situation, but uh, the value for going straight to the semis is worth so much. So much. Compared to that chance of the, the turbo, the last chance. Um, so he'll raise on the button with 8-6, and in the small blind with the queen. I mean, it's the right raise, you should raise. He's got to. He, he can't really afford to not go after these blinds, can he? And even... Same decision now for Nick. 
This time it's suited. It it's does judge your, uh, cloud your soul. judgment. 40 total. I think it's going in. It's the button raise. How much you got left, Bambus, please? I mean, Nick's asking that question. He, he wants to know yeah, if Nick is, uh, yes, please, yes. Bambus is, is committed to call with any two. I mean, the answer is yes. If you're re-raised, you know you're, you should be a 60-40 and, and you're... Right, no more than he'll be There's going to be 102,000 in the pot. Yeah, he'll be getting two to one. Or Twenty-five <laughs> more, sorry. It looks a lot more than there actually is. 82 behind. There'd be 87 Have in the pot. Have you got anything? I got you well beat when you are asking like that. <laughs> you got a big heart. Ace-queen is no good. Ace-queen is no good. Ace-three's no. miles in front. Oh, oops. <laughs> That means you haven't got anything. That's right. Um, you know that's I right. You, you know that's three. right, Nick. Go with your read. You think I've got 6-3? You know, when he talks like that, you're good. In these situations, I'm so used to playing online. I just insta, but it's Go like that's right. different. Instant. It's different. Press the button. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, this one. You know Bambus is going to show now if he folds. Yeah, I feel like even if Nick goes all in, you I think Bambus has to call. Unfold. I think. At this stage, he knows it Nick's not super strong. No, 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 no. You got exactly. to, you he got knows to he doesn't have a monster now. So he knows he's going to have a 40% chance at this pot. Nick. You can see it on camera. Makes okay. Okay. Come on. I can, I can see it on TV. Yeah, you no. can see it. No. He's, he's worried fold. enough that, that Bambus might have something like ace-5, ace-6, ace-7, mm. right? I if mean, it's got a weak ace, most of the time it's a, a split pot anyway. Oh, do you don't get bullied. I, I want to see it now. That's right. Put your chips over the line. You want me to show you now with me? Nah. Uh, I, I, I want to see it now. Nice. They won't allow me. Seems to have an instinct that he's ahead here, Paul. He got that immediately when he took when when Bamba said Ace Queen is no good. I mean, you know already that you have a hand that you've got the best hand. Uh, just give me a sec. Get a coin out your pocket. Flip it. He's trying to decide. I guess Paul is. Am I going to? If I am in the situation I'm in, you know, where he's got two middlers, am I going to find a better spot? Is he? Yeah. Uh, yes and no. But this this is a good spot. If you know you're ahead, which he does know, he knows that in I'm his mind. All in. That's right. Erase he knows it. He knows he's in a good spot same. here. He knows 18. he's ahead. He's, he's worked it out. He's very correct. And he's done the right thing. If Bambus wouldn't have said anything and actually moved so all in. 10, see, this 20, is the thing 30, I was talking 50, 50, about earlier. Bambus has bet some of his stack and allowed someone 18. to re-raise him. Actually, he's just wasted. He's raised 25. He's, he's wasted 40,000 chips. And more, I think we're really But I think if you're chips. Bambus, you have to call. It's you can, 10, you can 20, build up 30, chips. 30, you have no chips left. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, there was a 90, gutsy, 100, gutsy 100, play 100. by Nick. He's right. Well, but if Bambus calls now, he's going to have to actually survive five you know, cards. By pressing. But that's Harry. poker. You have to survive five cards. Oh, I've only got an ace. It's the right call. You are winning. Yeah. yeah. It's a good hand of poker. Both players sort of satisfied. Nick knows yeah, yeah, yeah. he does the right thing in his part. But uh, the flop turn and river sometimes have their own ideas. Yeah. I mean, Bambus has, has made a raise to win the blinds, but knows if he gets re raised, he has to call. So why not just move all in? Remember I said that? Because then Nick folds. It is Bambus all in. But uh, look at the odds. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. What do you feel here? Yes. It was, it was, it was, no, it was, it was, it was I think Bambus' oh, run is disheartened. I think the ace is going to be good. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, oh, there's a lot yeah. of for him yeah. now. He needs runner, runner. The diamond would be interesting. I'd like to see a five or five a seven. Five diamonds, that's right. Oh. Oh. Why do we get the sweat card? <laughs> so that's you the best never part. Win, you know. <laughs> oh, no. It's never Maybe easy. I should. You win. Oh! oh. That, okay. that was the death stat. He, he, he the, reached out to shake his bamboo. hand. He knew it too. I'll tell you what, you reach out to shake someone's hand, of course you see, you know, isn't it? It's run like the internet today. Nothing you can do. No. I think he's, he, he, he's done nothing wrong, Nick. He's, <laughs> done he's, done nothing. he's taking it pretty well here, Nick. I thought well, Nick wasn't all in, though. Well, even though Nick made that big move, at the end of the day, Paul, he's only 55-45 uh, when we looked at the stats. But after that flop... Well, after the flop, you know, you think you're home and dry, and as normal, a turn card comes to, to put pressure, and, and there it comes. Flush. 
Smith, but you know he hasn't got a... Oh, he's down to no, 20 he has, pounds. I haven't got much to beat. Well, Marty Smith won the... Uh, he hasn't got, like, King's Race. <laughs> he did. No, yeah, it was we've quite clear I haven't comebacks. got King's Race. Yeah. So what I should do the next time is if I do... Next time, as if I do, yeah. <laughs> we'll put a double up at some point. I mean, I yeah, don't right, expect to get in by eight any high, so. This is, is going mean, to be what one can I do? tough tournament. Online, I know what I'm doing, but here is a bit different because okay. people play a bit tired. But. It's like an ace there for Kabaj. No, <laughs> not even close to an ace. Um, <laughs> I've got um, <laughs> seven in, and then that. I would think we're going to see like forty thousand. <laughs> yeah, uh, Build a side pot. A couple of years ago, he, <laughs> oh, cool, yeah. he had Sprunty, LASIK Sprunty. surgery, eye oh, surgery, right. the day before he played on TV. Oh, this, this, we I'm could, on. we could be heads up. Oh. See, John's made this limp to, to get him in, to get him uh, to call, to make I'll the re-raise. Myself, but he's all in, that's why I didn't raise. Well, I wouldn't bully you out with nothing. No, obviously, all right, I'm out. See, I wouldn't have said that. I well, uh, I mean, eights, I think. Beale thinks he's got two overs, six, doesn't he? Yeah, he yeah, doesn't actually doesn't want to so call. Little did he know. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> good. I, I think a five's coming one? on this flop. We can win with this one. That's it. So I'm actually, in the best shape I can be. Actually, <laughs> he's racing. You passed Jack seven. Yeah. You did, honestly. I did. You did. Okay. I'll maybe, make it straight there. Maybe he's not Jack racing. As Nick Brousseau okay. says, it's still, it's a, it's a great it's spot enough, for me to nearly triple up. No, yeah. the minute he's, he's, he's back, he you said you buy it, that's why I said There it is. Well, there is a seven. Wow, he'll be back. But then he's probably going to hit a two out or in a straight well, or something. You're running straight for fun. <laughs> King, get it over with, that's it. Just the six, or Perso back in charge. This would be really unlucky for Nick. Touch anyway. Oh, it's a five for right. John. So he shows <laughs> you. <laughs> he shows you. I bust him. Yeah, yeah. you're right, isn't you? He shows you. Right. Two fives. I know, I believe you. Yeah. I know you've got a hand. You're not limping in knowing that I'm all in with no hand. Yeah. 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 Funny little play. Two, two fives. I mean, there were some ways to play those two fives where he ends up getting it in way behind. And I'm then uh, make a miracle suck out on the river to take all the yeah. chips. I, also, I think Thomas can make this raise with a lot of hands. I know he said I wouldn't do this with <laughs> nothing, but, but you can do this with nothing for the added value that you know the player's all in. Typical, but I think I made the right decision. I agree. Not the right one, but the correct one. Because if John had aces yeah, or kings, he also limps. In situation. No, it's, uh, all of a sudden, now we've seen a couple all ins, we're still four hand. Yeah. Two hands, I guess, one hand. It's better than uh, one no, hand, fold, He's folding an yeah, ace the main, there, which the is... The main target is to win the heat and not the main target to get correct. out Nick. Oh, no, you need to win the heat. You are not you folding ace eight. No, you yeah, win yeah. the heat by knocking people blinds. out, not by keeping them in. <laughs> uh, How much is it anyway? A bowl of rice, Bambo. Now I'm going to do what you've done to me. You waited so long. And I had a very... This when we had a lot of chips together. Now I've got a bowl of rice. Easy. You've got a lot of big bowl of rice. I'm going to call you. Correct. I've got an ace. Oh, you got an ace? Yeah. A big oh. the, what is the other card? I wish I passed. No. I oh. you wish you called. Oh, well, I'm going to hit. I owe you this one. Yeah. You're going to do it the hard this. way. <laughs> oh, you passed. Two, three, Everyone's four. telling me all my outs are dead uh. again. <laughs> yeah. The devil That's good. It voted well the last time. Yeah, you didn't need yeah. many outs last time. so. Yeah. I still hit the four, you know, the four cards. The good well, news for Purcell, there's 117,000 right back in the game for 20,000. Yeah, what have we got a five? There's the five. Nice Ace eight he was against. Ace eight would have been third. That was a good beginning. Sick. He needs a good finish here, Nick. The five or the ace. Or Outsville. It's going to be a king of diamonds the next year. How do you know? You know, I know. I'm, I'm I know. It's, it's bad for me. Oh, double. There it is. It shows you. Oh, back Double. in the game. <laughs> How this is the internet. This game this is, is running Nick like the internet needs to be today. How much you want to get that? Down to 20,000, Paul. Yeah. Now 117. I mean, confidence. So well, he's now, played 30,000 away from my average. Mind, I re erase everything in the last five minutes that's and happened. And I'm back to exactly where I was again. one guy with chips. Amazing stuff. All of a sudden, now Bambus on top. And uh, Nick Perso, he's like right in this. 
A lot of people say that I use a more analytical style and I've developed my style in the online world where you don't have the live tales and seeing your opponent. So a lot of the game is based on uh, on some maths and, and, and looking at betting frequencies and hand ranges. So yeah, I would say that it does give me an edge because near the end of the game, a lot of the situation will be push or fold. I will know when I should be calling and when I should be pushing and when I should be folding. Yeah. And miracles. Then. You know when we we first met, you could see I'm lucky, right? You, you just say that that guy, he's one no, of the. No, I thought the whole well, game you were was running from the start. Then, yeah, it, I immediately noticed it, that it was set up that it, that it was either going to be crazy me. or it was going to be like this. All of a sudden, you know, for so you, looking down. I don't down remember and the details, but you hit some sick here all of a sudden stuff. Yeah, but another thing, if, if he sees that there's only like that normally helps. three hands that until helps. the blinds go up, All I he do should in this be a bit more aggressive at this level, stuff, because in the next level, like people can't afford to fold. Right. You're going to see queen twos versus jack eights in the next level. Peel basically five, has five, no five. hand. How much is the raise? 35 tokens. But he's playing the right way. Oh. Got to put the pressure on. Bam Bambus might get attached to his little diamond connectors like last time. He may think that it brought him luck. Well, he is in position, and if he does hit this flop, it's likely he'll be ahead. Yeah, because he knows he can check and Bill will have to bet any flop. Will Bill bet every flop here? I believe so. Oh, this is oh. a flop where it's go it's going to go check, check, bet. Check. No, check, okay. check. <coughs> it's oh, all going I'll in. tell you what, if it comes to diamond, the action will be done. Mm, I think Bambus will still be happy even if a diamond drops. Yeah, but Bill's not going to get all his stack here. No. This is amazing. He wants to see a blank on the turn, so he knows Bambus doesn't draw. It's all going in now. Both players think they're slow playing. And I think Bambus has got Beal covered. He could be out. No. Will he get stacked off here? Bambus does have him covered. Wow. I'm all in. All in? I call. There you go. He Ooh. didn't want to hear that. that. Was an call. This is just what happens. <laughs> small blind. Oh, no. <laughs> and I mean, this is a guy, you know, Paul, he has wrong. played so well tonight. What happened? He's done nothing wrong. It's it, it's just the way the cards fall. We've made a raise that the big blinds called you. You've hit two pair on the flop. You've you've waited for a black card to come on the turn to get your chips in so he doesn't have too big an edge if he has a diamond. And, uh, he still had four outs. Nine. They didn't hit. It's and very, he's very close. Be able to count it down. He's out. Wow. Count this. Wow. Bambus is back Bambus from check. nowhere. Yeah, I think it's it's very close. really close. Oh, that hurts. It just goes to show you, doesn't it? Here. He's covered out and forth, and it was the one thing you thought wouldn't happen, but he could know. not avoid the cold yeah, deck. I think it's, very close. Close. it's very close. Yeah, he, he, he was playing very good, solid poker, but he was, uh, you know, I understand his his mental more. game where with his queen tens and yeah. his jack tens, yeah. I think he should, I be like raising, no should have been raising more when he had the chips in the image. Good luck. Well, Good luck. Thank you. Well, the game started pretty well for me. I could uh, gather a lot of chips and had like a 250,000 chips tops. And there was a tough table and then the blinds got high and uh, I busted on a bit of an unlucky hand. It's quite amazing, isn't it, Paul? Bombis the whole night was showing a willingness to take flops. You thought that was going to be the, the, the means of his destruction. But as it turned out, that was his trap. That was what he was waiting for. Perfect. And he also knows he can get away from any hand on the flop, and he's I'm playing the value. Well. We raise uh, I let you pay it. And <laughs> Nick had a, had a good, Nick's, very, Nick's very good awareness yeah. of the aces ahead there. Right? Like Nick, Nick's got, Nick knows if he's got a better yeah, ace, he's beat, but you can't pass. I'm not going to say with that pass now. <laughs> John, not in horrible shape, but he is all in. Needs a little bit of help. Oh, or so, oh, about a hundred thousand back. Ugh. There it is. And, and no hearts like either. Looks like we're heads up. Dead. Oh, no, I've seen King Jack. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking yeah. him in there. You're talking him in. Says, Sit down. I don't believe in miracles. 
You don't believe me. it can never happen. I like you, John. Well done. Well done. Cheers. Have a look, John. Okay, John. Cheers. Out in John, third. Wait a minute, he because really he didn't exactly yeah, get blessed with the deck today. We're yeah. going to be no, he, um, not long. He didn't really yeah. have any major hands, and I think it's, he'll probably talk about that himself in his interview. For us, he's, yeah? he's not really had the rub of the, of the felt. Is, um, um, he's played, played very well. Both of the remaining two in this match will be playing in this tournament again. But only one of them guaranteed money and a spot in the semifinals. And on one side, Nick Perso, who was all the way down to 20,000 in chips, stormed back, but is a little bit understacked against the power of the Cypriot, <coughs> Bombus Xanthus, who has been a while since he was on TV, but at first, it was not a moment too soon that he's back again. A whole lot of fun. And heads up, Paul, what do you see in the match? I think it's going to be exciting yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, shake, shake, shake. Normally I mean, Nick's like not too far oh, behind. Yeah. Yeah. 200 <laughs> yes, that's that's like 40, Good luck, man. Yes. <laughs> I still think Nick's got the game. It's been a fun dynamic between these two. They've both put some rough beats on the other. <laughs> the last card outs. Uh, is Bombus more aggressive? Yes, up to now he has been. You can see now in a bit of frequency. Bombus, I don't know what his heads up play is like. They know they're guaranteed into the turbos. I think it could be, this could be over very quickly. Nick sort of confessed earlier to Bombus that, you know, you go back five or six years, Nick wasn't really playing much, and Bombus was one of his television heroes. Yeah, I, I don't know if he was doing that just to a uh, bit of banter, but it's it's true probably, but I, I, think, I think they've been the better Where's characters the 60, of the heat. 40 more. Yeah. And here you see a re-raise, which is, which is good play from Nick. Cool. Yeah, a limp from Bombus right? and peeling yeah. off a flop. Now, if Nick misses this flop... Has to bet. Yeah. Has to bet the flop. No He's represented strength, raising out of position. Very unlucky. He's caught some of it. Bambus has got okay. some. I'm going to be honest. I think the money might go in. Bet if 70. Nick bets here, he's committed 000. himself. Yeah. He cannot, he cannot really Isn't pass it? for the rest, can he? He's going to have a count. It's unlucky. He's hit a flop. The chance of your opponent hitting a flop is quite remote. Maybe oh, he should have raised a there. bit more pre-flop, but it, it's unlucky. I mean, there is enough of a chance oh that... So if you're caught, I'm going to show you, here. obviously. And, I'm and not if he's sure got the draw, he pass. also pushes. I don't think, and got, I, I I don't think uh, he's got enough chips to fold. Pull in the yeah. Oh, let me put the 70, shall yeah. I? Put the 70. Bambus is talking it into him nicely. Let me just put in the 70 for you and show you, you know, you have to call. Yeah, just put it on there. Perso's got 110,000, Nick. This pot... Money. He knows he, he he knows he could be against a jack. He could be against a drawing hand, and if it's against a drawing hand, he has to get his money in. If it's against a jack, he's still got five outs. You've obviously got me beat. And this would be one hell of a pass, but it's a big comeback from here. You have to go. You have to win the next hand and get jack to two twenty. You then have to win again. Basically called and it exactly it right. Yeah. He, he, he seems to have ruled out that Bombus could have a flush draw or straight draw here. However he's done it, he's right. If he knows Bombus has a jack, which he says he does, is pass the right move all of a sudden? If you know that for sure, you then you have to pass. And I just have too little to pass, so yep. I call. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He That's knows done. what he's against, but he's, he overbet hit. on the flop. But he had to try and take it. Jack seven. Okay. He's, He's got 20%. out. Yep. Good luck. Good luck, sir. Good luck to you, sir. <laughs> Bring on the trumpets. What can I do? Here comes too, an eight. Too, too much in there. Yeah. An eight would be a great card. Liven it up. No hearts, hearts don't no play. Hearts. It's got to be the six or the eight. Doesn't look good. Bombus, semi-finals. It was Back nice and quick form. anyway. We it was nice and quick. We didn't have to mess around. It's like he never left. Bombus Santos, congratulations. It's Thank been you. a few years since you played on TV, but you picked right up where you left off. I feel good. I'm playing well, you know. Uh, but I've been playing a lot of cash, and the cash in the tournament is a little bit different approach to it, you see. Mm. Nick, commiserations, but what a comeback you made from 20,000. Yeah, I got a bit lucky, and... Uh, then I put another beat back on Bambus to double up and picked up a couple of hands near the end. But, you know, it's great to see him back. He played great and uh, 
you know, congratulations to him. Thank you very much. No you, you were mentioning that, I mean, a couple of years ago, Bambas was one of your TV heroes. Exactly. I got into poker from watching it on the TV, and ba Bambas was one of the first characters on it. And, uh, you know, he's still going strong, and I play with him at the Vic as well. So, uh, <laughs> Best of luck in the turbos, Nick, and, of course, Bombas in the next round. It is Bombas on this first man through to the semifinals. Who will he be facing there? Well, we'll find out next time when two Raggedy Andys sit down and Andy Ward and Andrew Feldman here on the PartyPoker.com European Open 5. Next time, top internet players sit down without the mouse and the biggest bluffer to ever hit the western shores as six more try and crack on a shot for $200,000 first prize when the European Open 5 kicks off.